Okay, friend, welcome to Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, so you are operated for varicose cell disease one year before it has been one year, mm -hmm. one year over, over one year, yeah. and you had a, a embolization. Mm -hmm. You call it embolization? Embol or embolization. 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 Okay. In Ireland, they are, they call it embolization, and I, the last patient was from <laughs> Ireland. Now I am calling it embolization. <laughs> I'm sorry. So embolization. Okay. Yeah. In that guy from Ireland. There was recurrence both in the internal part, which is I am very surprised because I am expecting a good, very good response in the internal part to internal veins actually, but external spermatic veins. As you see the vein here, can you show it with your hand? Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, this one, this one is too big, uh, and I I will measure it now. Yeah, it it has a recurrence actually. Embolization cannot reach to external veins and gubernicular veins. That's why uh, we had this vein. And here also, there is a. I think it's the same uh, vein bending over itself. But the internal veins seems better. So now I will measure the uh, diameter of this. Rengel, it's careful, I did a freezer just. Okay, in average, it seems to me like three millimeters. In some parts, it may be larger than three millimeters. In some parts, it may be smaller, 3.04. So it's around three millimeters, but it is palpable from outside. And do you have pain? Yes, every day. Every day? Every day. Can you describe how is the pain? Um, it's, it's like an ache, it's a sore ache. So yeah. if I exercise, or if I've been sitting down for a long time, if I've been idle, yeah, it uh, it just hurts. It's like sore. You know, we all all always claim standing up, like the people working in standing up position. But nowadays, I understand that not only standing up position, but sitting also affects, right? Yeah, if I've been sitting for a long time, like if I drive, yeah. if I do a long drive, it always hurts pretty bad for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, I think there is. This is the external vein. Uh, and very interesting, they, you they find it in the Doppler ultrasonography, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What did your doctor said? What did Doppler said? What was the difference? So I went in and for the Doppler ultrasound, they said I had no varicose seal, yeah. which I knew wasn't true because I could feel it and see it. Yeah. Um, but whenever I was visited my doctor who um, did a palpation test and felt and saw it, he was certain I had a varicose seal. Yeah. So but that's you why had I'm... the embolization with a radiologist, right? I did. Yes. And the follow-up is done by a urologist? Well, the radiologist I saw was in a different state, so I couldn't go hmm. and see him. So, But I sent him all my results, so he read yeah. them. Uh, but my urologist and my the general doctor saw me, and they both agreed I still had a varicose seal. Yeah, because it's easily palpable. You yes. are not fat. There is no fatty tissue. Yeah. With, with naked eye, we can see. And very interestingly, you send me videos mm -hmm. that you take them in standing up position. It was really very obvious. I was, I was satisfied with them, but it's not possible to guarantee 100% uh, you will have the uh, vein before touching to it. Now I am really, can, can see this vein. An external vein is coming here, bending over itself. Uh, and I think the internal veins are quite healed, but we will, of course, control all of them during the operation. And uh, these are usually internal veins. They are good. And gubernicular veins, for gubernicular veins, I look to the scrotal part. These are the gubernicular veins. They also seem normal, but we will control all of them. I think your recurrence is in the external vein. Actually, this is not a recurrence, this is a persistent of yeah. the external spermatic vein. So, how do you decide that even they said there is no need? So, you, what did your urologist doctor say when he said, when he said it is normal? My urologist said, he was like, I don't know what else you should do. I don't know what else for you to do. Yeah. Um, but I, I had read about you and I knew there was another option. Okay. So, I found you because my doctors were kind of at a loss about what to do. Yeah. So actually, when we examine urologist, we are uh, we make a decision to take it out a mm -hmm. normal urologist. But when then the patient go and make the Doppler and come back, when he come back, we forget about the examination yes, usually. Yeah. And when Doppler is normal, 
this is not uh, you know legal maybe in the United States mm -hmm. it's maybe not legal to operate but in Turkey if doctor is palpating they usually operate and uh, yeah you need so you we are now doing it in standing up upright position and there is a significant recurrence persistence here and in the upper parts yeah this is an external vein easily seen but this is the spermatic cord internal veins they are normal this is good but uh, outside it I can see the external vein I can palpate here this is a big vein here okay I am satisfied tomorrow uh, not tomorrow Tuesday Tuesday yeah we will do the procedure okay Okay, now you are in laying position, laying down, and we can see the external vein again. And uh, so, as you were in standing up position, it is a little bit large now. But when I measure this, I am sure it is thinner now. Two point two. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have some measurements like this. So they will not call it a varicocele. So it the size decreases when you are laying down. And uh, when we look with color Doppler, strain a little bit, strain, strain, strain. This much reflux is nothing, so they will call this a normal ultrasonography. But in radiology books, it is written you have to do it both laying down and standing up position. So if a patient has some pain, test this pain. There, are, there is there, are, there must be a reason. So they have to do it in both ways. That's why I begin to do my own Doppler because previously when I was palpating the vessel, sending the patient to radiology, sometimes they say there is nothing, and patient says, "Hey doctor, why are you uh, cheating on me?" So it, I begin to do it myself, and I understand that we are examining the patient in upright position. They are doing it laying down. It's nonsense. Okay, it's getting smaller and smaller. If I squeeze a little bit, it is really. When I squeeze with ultrasound, it, it is now very small. Maybe one point. Yeah, it's really go away. Yeah, it's squeezing. Yes, that's why they couldn't see it. Yeah, that's exactly why. Didn't you say, "Hey, please do it, do it to me I did. upright"? I I asked them a few times. I said, "I know you're supposed to do it upright, standing, because it gets bigger." Yeah. And they said, "We don't do that." I don't know why. Okay, you don't, but it's one minute, one minute. Can you please stand up and see how long will it take to for it to... Look, it's not as big now as, as uh, a couple of minutes before. Strain a little bit. Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger. Let me look closer. Yeah. So when you are in this position longer, it will be dilated more strain again and there are some other ways to here these are not internal these are the internal veins but external veins may have some branches okay it was bending over itself this part also is hey. large so when you are standing up for all day long mm -hmm. at the end of the day i'm sure it's very much bigger yeah when i wake up it's oftentimes it's as if i have no varicose seal i can almost yeah. not feel it yes and always by the end of the day it's big and it's large and i can feel it before i yes. go to bed yeah i learned everything i learned by listening to patients i believe what patients say because they are investigating themselves all day long mm -hmm. Uh, previously we had big books we were reading that now everybody's learning from Google yeah yeah so the patient is investigating his symptoms every day yep. 24 hours so you have to listen to patient and then you have to believe what they are yeah. saying they, that was really confusing for me you said that you had it you show it with, to me in the videos in the uh, our video conversations mm -hmm. I was seeing it yep. but before touching it's not uh, easy to say possible to say Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you.